basically when you sign a contract you're giving access to your wallet without the private key so what we're doing is we're removing those contracts revoking access to them crypto slow cryptocurrency news and investing crypto slow with more crypto gains what's going on guys hopefully you're doing well today we're going to talk about revoking access um revoking unlimited spends as related to your binance smart chain wallet so i know like a lot of people have had some use with revoke.cash on the ethereum side but today we're going to talk about binance smart chain side so we had DeFi summer this that farms lps and the reality is you've probably left a string of contracts that you've authorized to use your wallet now for people that don't understand this we talk about this you're like well my private key is safe but you could have signed a bad contract so the concept of this today is you're revoking access to approved contracts so chances are you jumped in 20 million different farms and this and that and you've given basically when you sign a contract you're giving access to your wallet without the private key so what we're doing is we're removing those contracts revoking access to them now what kind of things would you be concerned about with unlimited spends to BUSD USDC your stables whatever or rogue assets or maybe you were in a farm and then later on there was a hack or something so you want to remove all that so it's pretty easy bsc scan has introduced the token approval beta so you go over to bscscan.com go to token approvals up here on the more menu click on that grab your addy now the nice thing about this compared to um, Ethereum is this isn't an expensive process. Because remember, every transaction costs gas. But on BSC, let's see how much I have in my wallet. I got a little bag in there. should be fine. So on BSC, it's a lot cheaper to revoke access to these contracts than it is on Ethereum. So you go over here, you go to the token approvals, you hit connect to Web3, because that's what we are. We're in the Web3 world, and you'll see this connected. Then all of a sudden, you got all this stuff. Pizza Swap, Ape Tools, BSX, Blink Token, blah, blah, blah. Never ending <laughs> this moon rat. Binance BTCB Unlimited. That's to Pancake. Oh, there's one to, to Venus. Soup. Landshare token. Oh, got to love DeFi Summer. So what do you start doing? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, if you want to save time, you could look for contracts that are of popular tokens that could be of higher risk. Like, do I want Venus to have unlimited access to my wrapped Bitcoin on Binance, maybe not. So click this button over here to revoke, hit revoke. Sign the gas, eight, eight cents. So it wasn't really that much. Okay, and then let that confirm. Okay. So now if I hit reset, okay. Go to the second page you can see that now there's only two lines of unlimited spends for binance uh, btcb so i removed access so again this is a good concept for you to take away from this video is that when you interact with smart contracts yield farms a lot of times you're on get you're giving unlimited rights to the contract to spend your coins okay cheese swap router unlimited usdc i don't want that oh we got to reconnect i don't want cheese swap to have unlimited value to my things now the next question you may ask is what if i just go ahead and i just wipe them all i, I remove access to any is that going to screw up my farms or anything that i'm in no just realize that when you go back to a farm you may have to authorize 
that contract again. But the point is, is you're going to clean all this junk out. Spend a half an hour, hour, clean up your wallets, just remove all of the access, and then you can start fresh, and then you can come back here as you authorize contracts, and you can get make sure your wallet is in a little cleaner, tighter position. And that's what I said. This goes back to security. Don't get lazy. You want to keep your wallet cleaned up so that it's it's trackable. Because if I've got 10 bazillion contracts that have unlimited access to my funds, you know, that could be bad if there was a hack. Like there was a hack with any swap where they could come back and take your BNB or whatever. Or, you know, basically the way I look at it is if I'm not involved in a contract, I don't want them to have access to my funds. Because again, without your private key, if you sign a bad contract, they can have access to your funds. So hope you learned a little bit today and I'll leave the link down below to the, the contract revoker on Binance Smart Chain. As always, like, subscribe. This is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.